What's up with the YouTube? Today I'm just gonna make a follow-up video to the video I made the other day. Um, this is just gonna say how to set up the LiDAR. So first things first, right? Once you get the LiDAR set up on the camera, and in this case, when I mean set up on the camera, it's a lot of different ways you can do it. Technically, the way that they say you should do it, it should be like this or it should be like this. Mine is slanted, it seems to work, but you know, hey, get it as straight as possible. So we're gonna skip that step. Once you have it set up the way you want, the first thing you gotta do is put it on the correct lens profile. So I'm gonna bring the camera closer. So when I say put it on the correct lens profile, you see how it's blinking green? That means I'm on the green lens profile. The way to change lens profiles is basically tapping the button twice. You see that button right there? This is the calibration button. Pretty much this is the only button really on the device. You tap that button twice. So basically when you tap that button, you're cycling through the lens profiles. Remember the device can store up to five lens profiles. Red, yellow, green, blue, white. Since I already programmed my first two lenses, I put mine on the green profile. You can do any profile you want. The next thing you do, you gotta set the aperture to the max. So essentially just set, set it to the lowest. So with this particular lens that I'm gonna set up today, this is the Kata, uh, this is the Kata zoom, so it's a 35 to 80 millimeter. So right now I have it set to 35, but the, the lowest aperture in this case is gonna be T2.9. So you wanna set it to the wide. It's basically whatever is wide open is what you wanna set your lens to. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the included focus card. Now I'm pretty sure you can use anything, but we'll just use this since if you order the device, this is exactly what it comes with to so just keep it simple. So for me, I'm just going to put it on the wall. So once you get past that, you want to calibrate the focus throw, basically. So you want to hold this for three seconds. Hold the button for three seconds. And keep in mind, it may be four seconds, but just hold it until it starts spinning, just like it's doing now. Once it's done spinning, that's when it's done. But essentially all that is doing is basically just calculating how far your lens can focus essentially. So that's, now that part is done. So once you do that, it's not gonna let you rotate the focus throw. So when you go to try to do it, it's basically locked. So what you gotta do next is you wanna press the button one time and then hold it for three seconds. So look, I'm gonna press, hold, three, right? So you're gonna feel the motor like shift. Now, as you can see, now I can twist it, right? So now you gotta rotate the lens basically to the closest focusing distance. So in this case, let's see. So now you twist the lens to the closest focusing distance. So basically the minimal focusing distance. So um, once you got it to the minimal focus distance, now we're gonna go back to this card that's right here on the wall. To make it easier, if your camera has focus assist, make sure you turn it on. So once you have it set to the minimal focus distance, you wanna basically, like this is the wall, right? Or this is the thing you're trying to focus on. Move the camera until you see that it's in focus. So turn on your focus assist. Once you see that it's in focus, put the camera down and stop. So now you're gonna set up the point. Press the button once, you're gonna hear it beep. And remember, we're pressing the same button every single time. So that means the first focusing point has been set. So now we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so next step, take the camera back two feet, focus the lens and press the button again. Now the way I'm doing it, I'm pretty much guesstimating, but if you really wanna get specific, just get like a tape measure. Right now it's probably one feet. So we're gonna go one foot, two foot. So I'm gonna put the camera like right here. Oop, right? We're gonna say this is about two feet right here. So now, focus the lens again. And like I said, this is why you need to have a focus assist on. So focus it again, press the button. That's the second focus point. Okay, so now in this case, you gotta move it back 1.5 meters. So basically about four to five feet back. So now I'm gonna take it back even further. And you're doing the same thing. Once you take the camera back, focus it again. Once it's in focus, just press the button. So you hear the beep, right? All right, let's go back. 
and now you can see it's focusing. Actually, let me let me switch. So now we switch cameras and you can see that it's focusing. So now at this point, you just want to test your autofocus. Keep in mind, the reason they say put the LiDAR as close to the front of the lens as possible because, you know, essentially that's it, it better reads the focus that way. That's why you really want to get it basically all the way at the front um, and it works the best. Now, what I found from my testing, it seems to work well either way is kind of what because like in the way I got to set it right now like it's actually a little bit further back seems to work just as well um, I'm sure if you get it closer it's a little bit more precise so that's a good thing as well but as you can see it works now one more thing I want to go over because this was confusing to me so when you turn it off and turn it back on you got to do this step so now to turn it off just press and hold the button Okay, so the last step I want to go over is, is this, you got to do this every single time you're using it. So let's say, okay, and also make sure you got it on there tight because the motor is strong. If you don't have it like locked in there, the motor will shift. So just make sure you got it on tight because I got to actually retighten it now because mine wasn't as tight as it was supposed to be. All right, so this is the final step right here. So. Now the lens is programmed. Once you've done all of that, the lens is programmed automatically, it's saved. When you turn it back on, always do this. So you press and hold it, right? Now when it turns on, it's gonna immediately be back in whatever lens profile that you had it on. So I turned it on, so as you can see, mine is on the green profile. And it's important, let me go ahead and point this out as well. You see how it has two blinking green lights? This right here is what tells you the profile. This one right here, this, this light, you can barely see it, but this is the light that changes colors. It's two lights, this is the one that changes colors. So as you can see, I've turned the camera back on, now it's not focusing. That's because you gotta press and hold it for three to four seconds to let it do the focus throw and then it's gonna work like normal. So look, press and hold it. It's gonna read the lens again. Every time you turn it off and turn it on, click to the profile you want, then press and hold it for about three to four seconds, let it calculate, then it'll turn on. So as you can see, it's back working like normal. But yeah, I hope this video helps. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to drop them below. Like I was telling y'all in the last video, it's confusing the first time, but once you do it, it's super simple. I will even say that this is probably easier to use than a DJI Focus Pro, but also maybe because I own the DJI Focus Pro and I've already done it on there, it kind of got me used to it. That could also be the case, but it's actually pretty simple to use. Like I said, what I like about this, man, it's small. You can put it on any lens, so just think about it. That means you can rig it up in almost any way possible. It's definitely a thousand percent a must buy. Oh yeah, let me add one thing too. Let's say for some reason you're using it and you want to go manual, just click the button once and it will turn it off. Click it again, and now it's gonna be back to normal. So yeah, just keep that in mind, but yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. Peace.